Shame, Shame that, that tune. tune. Okay, thank you, uh, Ms. Cosby, for answering the microphone. Um, Angela Villa, thank you for giving the gift of shame and humiliation to us, a room full of total and complete strangers during this holiday season. The red, red wine makes you feel so fine. So sang the popular reggae group Oob Four Zero way back in 71. So we've been led to believe, Angela, for in your case, the red, red wine Oob Four Zero chronicles through song did not make you feel so fine, but had quite the opposite effect. You utterly destroyed the apartment of a selfless man who took you in and had only the best of intentions. <laughs> that being said, I'm wondering, uh, we're wondering, how do you live with yourself, Angela? Answer the question. Uh, well, here's the thing, is uh, I, I decided to never uh, get drunk with, like, at a train station with my mom again. That's really, <laughs> that's what I took away from that story. I was like, you know what? I can't even go into a train station anymore. Actually, I'm in, I'm in a, an anonymous group for getting drunk in train stations and vomiting all over people's apartments. It's like actually a thing. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know I had a problem. Metro wine. Metro so wine, fun. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Think twice before you drink Rio Nidi on ice. Were you needy on ice? So nice? No. As a kid say, check yourself before you wreck yourself, Angela. Speaking of kids, we have some adolescents here, uh, arrested and otherwise, with this time in the audience. Uh, having lived this nightmare brought about through wine, what lesson do you have to teach the kids out there thinking about doing what you just did, or did earlier? Um, bring your own toothbrush. <laughs> yes. There we go. Um, cause not everybody's so nice. Um, so yeah, always bring your toothbrush and, uh, don't go into dark strangers' apartments that have no electricity, uh, while you're already taped. Uh, there's that. Um, also, bring napkins and, and wet wipes, because yes. you don't know what you're gonna do, where you're gonna do it. So, towelettes everywhere. This actually, this is sponsored by Towelette, by the way. Towelettes. Yes. Enjoy. If that wasn't bad enough, you embarked on what is commonly known as the walk of shame. Um, what is the source of your shame here? Is it more about leaving this poor man to his wine-puked apartment, or is it more feeling sad that you drank too much? Um, definitely that I didn't uh, get to clean clean anything up afterwards, because it was probably like the worst smell I've ever seen. It's the worst vomit after thing I've ever seen, and I don't like. I mean, it was just everywhere, and and he was moving out. He was moving out that weekend, so he had to clean all of that up, like, before, you know. Yeah. I might I might have cost this man his security deposit. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think about Your that. I'm just and, costing uh, people money. <laughs> and, uh, Angela, it's my understanding that uh, here at The Hideout, you co-host a show called The God Sex and uh, Death Variety Hour. Yeah. Sounds uh, lighthearted. Well, what's the show? What's, uh... <laughs> it's great, yeah. Well, let's start with the first one, God, God Sex. Um, while I'm familiar with mythology, I'm unfamiliar with the sex lives of the Greek, Roman, and Polynesian gods and goddesses. What's the juiciest story you care to divulge about uh, any of these randy deities? Um, wait, what? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh wait, um what uh, no what God and sex and death variety hour. I said God sex. Oh, and, uh, okay, yeah, God and sex and god what, what, what is sex, what is the show? What is the show that you do here? Uh, <laughs> okay, the God Sex and Death Variety Show is a uh, storytelling uh, by comics and writers. Uh, they come up and they each touch on a topic. Uh, they either do God or they do sex or death. So each story that they tell has to be in theme of. And then we usually have a comic that comes up and he could do comedy on all three topics or one or the two. Uh, and then we also do a lot of variety and sketch and stuff um, involving like trivia and like death facts or facts about religion. Um, you know, facts about sex. Um, so yeah, it's just like. And to be clear, it's not you know Zeus unsheathed his hammer and uh, <laughs> what's up uh, Aphrodite and you know there's none of that. It's not pornographic per se. Um, it gets pretty. It juicy. could be. It could it, be all, juicy, all three topics can be pretty juicy. Yeah, death yeah. is pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> death, 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 gets, death gets, I think, the best, uh, the best response. When's the next? Uh, when's the next God and Sex and Death variety show? <laughs> It is December 20th here uh, next Friday awesome. at 6.30. Uh, December 20th, 6.30, right here at the Hyatt. Right here, so, yeah. Uh, sounds great. Well, Angela, thank you so much for sharing your shame with us tonight. Uh, Angela Vela, everybody.